Good evening, gentlemen. It's Active Aussie MGTOW here, Saturday night. It's about 6.18 p.m., just on sunset. I'm here at Peg's Lookout, which is one of the more elevated points in the forest. I just want to briefly talk about comfort zones and maybe some of you fellows listening have your own sort of what you could call a comfort zone. These days, I don't really go that far from my apartment. Usually, I stick within a 10 kilometer radius, sometimes a 15 kilometer radius. And I do go to the Gold Coast sometimes, as you know, I make a few videos down there as well. But mostly, I don't really feel that comfortable in many parts of the city now. And I was in the inner city a few nights ago, and it just felt very strange and very weird and I just feel like many parts of the city don't have much character now. Everything seems to be about money, making money or the possibility of some sort of financial gain for, especially for developers but a lot of people in general as well. So things have changed very much just seems to be a very superficial narcissistic I suppose you could say like plastic type of society and I just feel this is going to get worse in the future but at least there are still beautiful places like this where people can come to and it's totally free but a lot of people in Brisbane don't even know about spots such as these this one's a little bit off the beaten track just want to touch on another topic very brief, very briefly, and that is in regard to certain individuals who, and you can say this is in the manosphere as well, individuals who try and create what I call a scarcity type mindset or a FOMO type mindset, which means fear of missing out. And you would know recently I've spoken, I've talked about the, what I call the Filipino grifters and these PUA type guys, passport bros who are making videos. And I feel this is a strategy of theirs. They try to make Western men, especially Western men in their late 20s, early 30s, late 30s, early 40s in particular, they try to make them feel like, oh, they're missing out on something because, because they're not over in the Philippines. They're not married to a Filipina, don't have a Filipina girlfriend. Or this could be like in any sort of Asian country. There are guys in Thailand doing this as well. A few guys in Indonesia, Bali, I think as well, Cambodia. So it could be anywhere in Southeast Asia. I'm not just singling out the Philippines in particular. And when I talk about grifters in the Philippines and Western men grifting in the Philippines, I'm not trying to shit on the Philippines. It's probably... A fantastic place to go for a holiday vacation some guys even probably like probably enjoy living there but sometimes the grass is not always greener and one lifestyle does not fit all does not suit all so going to another country is not the only option becoming a passport bro and relocating and I've spoken about this before but I feel there are certain powers that be in certain groups and you could even say like types of lobby groups like the Christian lobby who try to make out that oh if you don't get married and um, do the traditional thing and if you don't have a wife and a family you're just missing out that's another type of FOMO uh, trying to create a scarcity mindset that Marriage is something that is very special and that you're going to miss out. You have to hurry up and get married or it's going to be over for you and you won't might, you might be able to have a family, this sort of thing. So um, I feel like there's a lot of this sort of narrative going on and there are different sort of interest groups involved. If you're just, if you're just talking about PUAs, it's probably mostly a financial incentive sort of imperative why they're doing it. The Christian lobby might have the same sort of idea and it could be driven by ideology, ideology, 
ideologically driven in some sort of fashion, but could also be to do with money. I know some guys like the MGTOW Infinium have spoken about, I think it's called tithing, so giving donations to the church, giving money to the church. I remember when I was about 16 and I was still going to church with my mum and my sister and you'd have the donation basket passed around. But back then, the priests, they were not earning much money, so I thought it was okay to give some money. And you would also go to the local parish, the local school. So I think back then it was fairly legitimate, but now we have all these scammer-type religious organisations and churches about, so it's just another scam. Just like PUA, a lot of Christians are just running scams, I feel. And a lot of these so-called Christian videos on YouTube are just a lot of bullshit trying to shame men and trying to get men back onto what I call the Christian plantation, so to speak. Anyway, guys, just throwing a few ideas out there. I feel quite relaxed, and I thought I'd just come up here and make a video because it's a beautiful night, early Saturday evening, so just felt like coming over here. It's a beautiful spot. That's all for now, guys, and I hope I can talk to you again soon.